He was in a, a somewhat pensive state of mind as that Dunning passed into the manuscripts reading room of the British Museum and, and collected the books that he was then consulting. He was just arranging them on his usual desk when he thought he heard someone whisper his name behind him. So he, he turned round rather hurriedly. And as he did so, he accidentally knocked down the little portfolio in which he kept his notepapers onto the floor. Now, well... There was no one that he recognised, so he, he picked up the portfolio and was just settling down to work when the gentleman seated at the table behind him tapped him on his shoulder. Might I give you this, sir? I think it should be yours. I mean, it was one of the choirs of scribbling paper on which he made his transcriptions. It must have fallen out of the portfolio. Oh, thank you. Yes, and that is mine. I'm, I'm much obliged. Please. Well, the, the, the gentleman left the reading room shortly after that and and Dunning was just settling down to his studies, and the museum attendant passed his desk, so he, he beckoned him over. Yeah, Terence, yeah, the, 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 the gentleman that, that was sitting there just now, in, in the seat behind me, uh, stout chaps, uh, sideburns, uh, think he was carrying a Homburg. Ah, uh, oh, Mr Carswell, what? Oh, no. Yeah, it's funny. He was asking after you the other day. Yeah, he wanted to know who the, the great experts in the land were on alchemy. I, I said, Mr Edward Dunning's the only man for you. Did you, Terence? Thank you very much. Yes, in fact, shall I go and get him, sir? I, I think he wanted to talk to you. No. No, no I, thank you, Terence, but I, I don't think that would be a good idea. No, no, not right now. All right, sir. Yeah, I have heard it can be a bit odd, but he's always been nice enough to me. Still, he, he doesn't come in here very often. I, I doubt that you'll run into him by accident. Now. More than once, on his way home at night, Dobbin had to reflect that he... You know, he did not look forward with his usual cheerfulness, to a solitary evening. <laughs>